of his life has made his personal journey a pleasurable and most profitable one. I'm very fortunate, very fortunate that through this whole thing, and uh, I've been married to my wife for 30 years, and after uh, <laughs> just about a year and a half of marriage, I walked in one day and said, we're out of here, we're going to, into, uh, <laughs> to rub horses and learn how to train horses. And uh, I had her support 100% all the way. The Furlots recipe for a successful marriage and a successful stable has been sprinkled with both victory and disappointment. While this little bay can really cook on the track, every step he takes is a bittersweet reminder of an illness that nearly claimed his life. Strong Clan had overcome such difficulties to become the type of horse he is that it's hard to walk by a stall every day and look at him and not feel a little uh, tinge in your heart for him. When the colt was just two years old, he developed a severe stomach disorder known as colic. He required two operations to relieve the pain and remove parts of the damaged intestine. Well, I think he's he's a remarkable little horse. He's a he's a, you know as a two-year-old, he he was pretty well given up on. He'd had he'd had major a major obstruction which uh, of approximately about three feet of bowel, which they managed to, to relieve. And, uh, you know, Stu brought him back very, very gently from that, as, as gave him, did not raise him at all as a two-year-old after that. Brought him back as a three-year-old. He was probably not as, not up to full, full potential, didn't live up to his full potential, but gradually he's come back to his full potential, and he's probably one of the best horses in the country right now. Since his brush with death, Strong Clan has banked over a half a million dollars, which, by the way, is about what a rookie hockey player makes today. With these fiscal facts in mind, does Stu Furlot ever regret giving up his life on the ice? I always say that when I went into the harness racing game that I never worked a day in my life after. You know, I've, I've never had to work. Uh, although I put in a lot of hours and a lot of days, but it wasn't work. It was uh, a joy, you know, it was a joy to do this.